Okay, so the entire hull is now painted. The red is to me a whole red. The waterline is to me a NATO black. The gray is to me a sky gray. XF19, I believe it is. The camouflage pattern is a mix of German gray and NATO black. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm putting the decks on now. The rear portion of the decking has been laid down onto the hull and uh, I've glued it in place and it fits really nice. It's perfect, you know, I mean, couldn't ask for more. Lines up to the sides, everything lines up really nicely. The front half of the deck, however, is a different story. Um, it fits in really well up to around this point here where my finger is. Then it becomes a very, very, very tight fit. And at the very nose here, the very prow of the ship, this part of the deck does not want to sit down in there. I've tried and tried and tried. It's just, so what I've been doing is I have been filing and sanding the uh, underside of this deck right here at the nose trying to take off plastic and I've done a little bit of the same thing on the hull portion of the nose of the ship right here. I've been sanding this, taking off some plastic slowly bit by bit, dry fitting it as I go <clears throat> and it is getting better but uh, it's an extremely tight fit and it's just going to take some much more sanding and a, removing a little I've actually taken my I've actually taken my um, exacto blade and I actually started carving some of this plastic off right here it's like when they molded it they I don't know they put <laughs> it's just too thick plastic here and um, it just does not want to set down in there. It looks like it should, but anyhow, so that's what's going on with that. So just a heads up there for anybody that's building this ship. Uh, maybe yours won't be this way, but this one is. Now, because this front deck, this front half of the deck is such a tight fit, I have to glue it down in phases, in, in part, in one one part at a time. Um, I fit it together up against the rear deck, and uh, right underneath here, where I have this uh, heavy tape dispenser, there is uh, one of the um, hull braces that. This deck fits on top of there's a, a groove on the under underside of the deck and it fits on top of the hull brace and it, it's a tight fit and it snaps right down into it and I applied glue to that and then set it down and I want that to set up really strong before I do anything else once this section of the deck is glued nice and tight and the glue is cured completely then I will start applying using the Tamiya Thin I will be applying the Tamiya Thin cement into the areas that join together and by capillary action all along the sides here where the deck joins the hull I will portion by portion glue it down and work my way all the way to the very nose of the ship 
which is the tightest part. Uh, I have been dry fitting this and sanding and scraping like I said and I've got it to the point now where it fits much better but it's still really tight. Anyhow and also because of this curve there is a pronounced curve in the in the bow of the ship that goes upwards from the middle portions of the deck and so it curves upwards and that's another thing you have to take into account when fitting this deck on. It's, it just makes it a tight fit. So, um, yeah, so anyway, this is it. I'm just going to let this portion dry completely, and then I will start gluing the other portions down. Well, I got the nose of the deck attached to the nose of the bow. Um, I had to use super glue and glue it down one step at a time and spray it with the uh, accelerator, the Instaset, Bob Smith Industries. Use their uh, gap filling medium to cure. I have the. I also use the Insta Cure, the um, super thin for certain applications. Uh, in the process of doing this, you can see I've kind of marred it up a bit. I'm still going to put a little more glue in this one seam here tighten that up a bit so I may have to do a little bit of light sanding here and there on the edges and um, <clears throat> a little bit of touch-up painting here and there because this is kind of a kind of a mess getting this to sit down tight and properly which I finally succeeded in doing and um, yeah so Next step after this glue all sets up is to touch up the painting here and there where I marred it. And uh, there you go. The main decks are now attached to the hull of the USS Iowa. And um, it came out pretty good. Um, I know that this particular 1944 Leyte Gulf version with the, uh, you know, the camouflage pattern they put on this thing. Um, I think the decks by them were uh, stained a dark blue. And I'm still considering doing that, but I'm not that brave. And I kind of like the way this decking looks. reason I have this up is this is part of the superstructure and it goes right there <clears throat> indicated in the instructions part F22 and F16 which are these two now in the instructions those two pieces are supposed to be put on this uh, 
part of the uh, superstructure at step 18. Um, what I'm actually going to do is glue on this part here onto the deck and then attach these the detail parts on here where this smooth area is right in here and then the other part of the superstructure builds on top goes right here and fills this whole hole in so I found the F-16, F-22, now I need to find H-5. And uh, we're going to do a little dry fit into this and see how it works out. Okay, this is the XF-19.
Okay, so the catapults are done and painted. I've st stuck them onto the rear of the deck. They aren't glued in place. Um, the large main superstructure parts are now glued in place. Or the base parts, I should say, of the superstructure. The large base parts. There's more superstructure to go on top here, of course. Um, let's see, what else? I'm getting ready right now, in this location here, to put these uh, gun tubs in right here. I have to work on the wooden deck a little bit because these are going to sit down in there and uh, there's a little line of uh, wooden decking there that has to get removed so it'll sit down properly. So that's what I'm working on right now. And uh, I'll come back and show you when I get those in place. Here are these uh, gun tubs in place. I had to remove a tiny bit of the wooden decking so that these plastic parts would fit down in there properly. Um, the next thing I'm going to attach is the pulpit here in the very front of the ship going to go in here somewhere and uh, we'll get a couple of guns on there and ammo boxes and the flag will be on there um, so that'll be next <clears throat> I am also installing get it to focus. These bullards that go in the very front they go up here in this spot. There's a uh, little something that goes right there. There's a lot of little parts to put on the front here. <clears throat> As you can see by the instructions. So this is what I'm working on right now. Getting all these parts down. All right, we have the pulpit installed at the very nose of the ship. We have some bullards. We have some, I'm not sure what these are called, some tie downs of some sort. I have part of the um, anchor windlass devices. I have some gun emplacement shields installed in various places on the front of the deck. <clears throat> the breakwater, more bollards and such installed. More gun emplacement shields. back to some bullards here so this is all part of step uh, step nine get my glasses out of the way still got a few little pieces here and there to put on on to the next uh, um, step and we're just going to continue along the entire deck and start installing all the small little pieces that go on here On the 
this pulpit at the nose of the ship. There'll be a couple of anti-aircraft guns, ammunition boxes. I went ahead and got these uh, 1 200 scale 3D printed anchor chains from Bunker Studio. They look pretty good. The anchor chains that came with this kit are not very good. Let's put it that way. These look pretty good. Those will they're already black, which is nice. <clears throat> so those will be going be going on here fairly soon also. But yeah. The set comes with two anchor chains. Alright, so let's move forward. Okay. We have completed Step 9 on page 10. And this is all the little parts onto the front portion of the deck. Okay, and now we're going to move on to Step 10. More little parts and um, <clears throat> gun shields. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, kind of sort of the same sort of thing that went on the front part of the deck. With a couple little things that are different. But uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, that looks like a winch right there that goes there. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start attaching stuff to this back part of the deck. Um... So, here's the before picture, and then we'll see the after later. Okay, so I have the big uh, gun shield on. Some other lesser gun shields. Some round gun shields. Um, that is part of step 10. Done. And we have all the small little pieces to go on still.